step is to actually put the tire on the wheel, no glue, air it up to 140, 150 PSI, and let it sit for 24 hours. Okay. stretched, we want to clean up the rim with a little bit of acetone. A lot of times carbon rims, if the rim is pretty shiny, you want to scuff it up with some a little bit of sandpaper. This one looks like they've etched it pretty well, but we're going to go ahead and make sure there's no oil or loose carbon dirt or anything like that on there. So let's get it good and clean there. Take our tire and inflate it to the point of where the middle portion of the bottom end of the tire is sticking straight up. Okay. We're going to be using a little, some of the continental glue. Either Continental, just the standard Continental glue, or the uh, Vittoria Mastic One work real well. So I like to just take and put a thin little bead on. Maybe work with about you know 16, 18 inches at a time. You know, one layer, not super heavy, moderately thin, just enough to soak into the hole base tape you want to get all the way nice and even coat all the way through the boat all the way to either side of the base tape there and then just you know go around a little at a time like this until you have a nice layer on the all the way around there. Okay. Okay. So now we want to put a, just a bead all the way around on the rim. Not too much. Just enough to get a nice light coat on. Take and smear it in. Get it all the way from side to side, all the way around. Okay. Now we want to let both of those sit for two to three hours and we'll, then we're ready for a second coat. Alright, so we've let the first coat dry. You'll notice it's pretty dry to the touch there. So, I'm going to go ahead and just repeat the same process. Just a nice thin little coat. I like to just run a little bead down the center. And just work it in. Make sure you get all the way nice and around the valve. Nice, smooth, even coat. Try not to get too much extra on the sides. And just work your way around. You gotta see what's in this box. Right. Check it out. And just do the same thing on the rim. Exactly like we did the first time. Just work your way around. And this time we can let the whole thing dry for about 15, 20 minutes. So we're ready to glue, glue it on. You know, the tire's pretty, pretty dry to the touch. A little tacky, so you want to be careful not to get it on your pants. So you want to take your valve stem sticking straight up. Start with the valve stem there. And just grab hold of the tire and Keep the pressure on there and just work it around nice and even. Last little bit's always the hardest. Okay. 
from there you can just uh, you wanna try to center it up as best you can initially you got it in the ballpark you, wanna, you know keep the pressure even to your valve stems sticking through nice and straight and shoot some air up in here Sometimes if it's a good tire, it'll actually just automatically center itself up. But sometimes you gotta tweak it a little. And it's like we're pretty good. You know, sometimes you'll have a little bit of glue on the side of the rim. You can just rub that off. Make sure you get all the glue off the brake surfaces there. You can use a little acetone there if you need to, but um, at this point I'll generally air it up to uh, 140, 150. You know, another thing you make sure at this point to make sure that valve stem is good and seated in. Normally I'll eat, actually just roll it around all the way to make sure it's good and stuck in. But it's a critical time to get that valve stem seated in. If it's not pushed in good and solid, you'll hear it tick when you when the glue dries there, but that's uh, that's basically it.